In 1960, a young British woman ventured into the forests of Africa to follow her childhood dream, to find a way to watch free wild animals living their own undisturbed lives. She left everything familiar behind and ended up giving the world a remarkable window into our closest living relatives. She was me. I wanted to come as close to understanding animals as I possibly could. We are continuing our research at Gombe. It's the longest running study of any non-human animal. And we're using some exciting new technology to learn more about chimpanzee ranging patterns and the state of the forest. And this helps to inform decision makers on action to be taken to protect chimpanzees, their habitats, and the other creatures that live there. I flew in a small plane over Gombe National Park and I was absolutely horrified at what I saw. So quickly it seemed, the environment outside the National Park had been utterly destroyed. The trees had gone. The land was over-farmed and infertile. They were struggling to survive. And that's when I realized that unless we helped the people to improve their lives, there was no way we could even try to save the precious chimpanzees. This was when we started Take Care or Takari, our community-centered conservation project. Everywhere I went, I met young people who seemed to have lost hope. They all said more or less the same thing. We feel like this because we think you've compromised our future. And so that led into our program for youth, Roots and Shoots. The main message of Roots and Shoots is that every one of us makes a difference every single day. The program has now become a movement that's in 100 countries around the world. One of the things that the Jane Goodall Institute does that I feel is really most important is to try and give people hope, to help people understand that every single day we live, we can make a difference. And together, with everybody making a difference, we can change the world.